Ah, greetings one and all. Welcome back to my kitchen here today. Where I'm going to be making a nice simple dish. Quite a uh, rustic dish called Chicken Basque. B-A-S-Q-U-E. Um, I'm going to be making mine today with chicken thigh fillets with the skin left on. And the first thing I want to do is just, um, I'm going to give them a little cook in my fry pan with the skin side down. And I'm actually not going to flip them, I'm going to take them off once that skin started um, turning a nice colour. But what I want to do before I get into my fry pan is just get plenty of um, salt. Go. And some cracked black pepper. So I've just got a little bit of uh, olive oil, maybe a tablespoon or so, just starting to heat up. And I'm probably just, I've got six of these fillets. I'm probably just going to do three at a time. And they won't start sizzling yet because the olive oil is not hot enough, but that's okay. We'll soon get it up to a sizzle. Yeah, three is plenty. And like I say, um, I won't be flipping them over. I'll just be taking them off once we get some colour on the skin. Alrighty guys, now I've got a couple of well, what I call capsicums here. Um, some places they're called peppers or bell peppers. I've got two red ones, a couple of green ones. <laughs> These red ones at the moment. Uh, 15, 14 Australian dollars a kg. But we won't complain, will we? <laughs> It's pretty outrageous prices of veggies at the moment, but that's just the way it is. Now what I did want to show you is I've got here today my um, Vosteen, Vosteed Morgan Chef's Knife. And what I want to do is cut these um, peppers, these capsicums, the fleshy part into strips. And I just wanted to show you, if you've got a good knife like this, a really easy way to do this rather than um, you know, scraping the seeds out. So you just identify where those um, ridges are. And because of this nice, really good uh, pointy tip on the end of it, we'll just dig that in. It just goes in like <laughs> butter. A hot knife through a butter, literally. And we just cut her up the top to that next ridge then we just go down and we just cut her out like that and we just keep following that ridge around a beautiful thing so forth You just end up, you've totally got all the flesh off your capsicum there and you're just left with like the core bit and just throw that in the bin. Ah, I should say, in the compost bin. <laughs> now with these panels of capsicum that I've just got left, I just want to cut those, like I said, into strips. Like so. So I'll do that with the rest of them and I'll get back to you. Um, so I've just got a couple of uh, brown onions that I've just peeled and now I'm just starting uh, to cut them in half and now we're just slicing them again with the same weapon of choice and yeah, make short work of this. Next I've just got three sort of smallish tomatoes and we're just going to cut them open <laughs> uh, honestly I do love this knife 
I'm not just saying that. Um, I do have to disclose, of course, um, there's a link in the description to Vosti, and I really urge you to have a look, check out the prices for yourself. Uh, really, um, <laughs> surprisingly inexpensive. And you can just do really good stuff, like I want to cut the seeds out of that, so, I mean, it just, it's so sharp. It just makes it so easy. And I'm just left with a bit of tomato like that, which I'll slice up. Um, yes, as I was saying, the link in the description to the Vosteed knife's there. I do get a very, very small commission if someone happens to buy one. Uh, not enough to retire on, believe me. But, um, I urge you to have a look, just not because of that. Just because they are a good product and very reasonably priced. Uh, now next I've just got four of these sort of large size chilies, uh, red chilies. Same thing, oh, I'm just going to slice them. And next I've got about, I think there's about 15 or 16 of these little pitted green olives. I'm just going to sort of cut those probably just about in half or quarters. And of course we'll need about six cloves of garlic and I'm just going to roughly chop them up. Alrighty, so most of um, that chicken's been cooked now, well, not cooked, um, seared on the skin side. And I've just got that sitting aside now. Now in this same fry pan, it had a fair bit of oil and juice in it, so I've tipped most of that out and just left about a tablespoon. Some of it was rendered fat from that skin and still some random olive oil. Like I say, about a tablespoon left. Now, I'm going to add to that my sliced onions and my red and green um, capsicums or peppers. And I've just turned the heat down slightly. I just want to gently saute them. So those veggies start getting a little bit softer. So I'll leave that and go, and I'll get back to you. Alrighty, so that's been sautéing there for about 10 or 12 minutes. Next I'm going to add my next sort of tier of chopped ingredients. In there I've got those green olives, those red chilies, the garlic, and those sliced up tomato, de-seeded tomato. I'll throw them in. I'll give them a stir up and just keep um, gently sauteing. So we're just about five minutes later. Um, like I said, the smells are just incredible. All right. We want a couple of good dollops, a couple of probably tablespoons, tomato paste. I've got a couple of dried bay leaves. I've got about a teaspoon and a half of smoked paprika. And that goes. And we just want to cook that off for another few minutes. 
stir it in. Alrighty. Next thing I'm going to add to that is some liquids. I've got here three quarters of a cup of Madeira wine and that'll also help to glaze that fry pan some of those flavours that are sort of on the bottom there and oh wow that smells good already and I'm also going to add some Just some store-bought chicken stock, probably about half a cup. So I'll get it to a boil, then to a simmer, and then we'll reduce it. Alrighty, so yeah, again it's only about, I don't know, seven or eight minutes later. Um, my mixture sort of thickening up, there's still some liquid there. Now as you can see here, I've got a casserole dish and I'm going to be finishing this whole dish off as a whole in the oven. So at the moment I'm just preheating the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Um, I've turned the heat off the hot plate here, but what I will do is get my vegetables. into that without burning myself hopefully and then I'm going to get my um, chicken where I've browned the skin and I'm just going to place that and just sit it but sort of push it slightly into the liquid over that. An actual fact, get any of those resting juices in there as well first. That's the go. Beautiful. So my oven has preheated now to 200 degrees Celsius. I'm going to put this in there um, uncovered and leave it in there for about 30 to 40 minutes. At least till um, I know for sure my chicken's cooked all the way through and just to sort of amalgamate those flavours a bit more let's do it Alrighty guys, so I've got a plate of my chicken basque here, ready to go. As I said, fairly simple dish, but oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm really, really happy with the result. Um, as I pulled it out of the oven there, I'm just going to dig straight in and try a bit. Um, yeah, I've sort of got my chicken lying on top of my stewed vegetables. I'll try and get a little bit of everything on my fork here. The main star of the show is the chicken and those uh, capsicums, four of them and all. <laughs> Let's um, maybe even get an olive on there. I don't know. Let's see if we can see that up close at all. Of course there's some beautiful sauce, we'll just get a bit of that as well, give it a taste. Oh yum, 
Ooh, that's really, really nice. It's, it's actually got a little bit, not too much, a little bit of uh, spicy hint in it. Probably because I use four of those chilies. Um, it's not spicy, spicy, spicy hot, but it's definitely there. And which I'm really loving, of course. But if you don't want it spicy, maybe back off on those chilies a little bit. Overall flavour, it's just yummy. It's a really, like, like it's supposed to be, a rustic sort of home stew. It's got the sweetness coming out of those capsicums, or peppers, as my American friends call them. Um, yeah, oh, not much more I can say. It's just beautiful. Alright, I'm going to sit down and eat the rest of that now. Thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. I know I say it every time, but I say it every time because I just want the message out there. I do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, can I just ask you to hit that subscription button? That'd be awesome. Doesn't cost you anything. There's no obligation. And if you hit that little bell icon thing, you can, um, you'll get notified when I upload videos, which is pretty good too. Alrighty. I will see you all next time.